Okay, in this lesson, uh, things get a little bit more difficult. And I'm going to show you how to paint uh, custom textures for your characters. Now, the reason I've classed this as difficult is because it introduces you to a couple of fairly advanced topics. And along the way, we're going to use jargon such as UV maps and, and texture layers and transparency and file formats and stuff. So, uh, anyway, I'll try and make it as easy as I can. And let's just press on. Over in Movie Zoo, I'm going to show you what I mean. I've got this girl character, and you can see that she's wearing her own custom texture. In other words, I've painted a skin that clothes her all the way from head to toe. And I'm going to show you how you can do this, because with this feature, you can get some really cool and interesting characters. But for your benefit, we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to delete her. There she goes. And we're going to pick a fat man to do. So let's spawn a fat man. There he goes. Now in order to simplify all this, what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make him naked because then we can see what texture we're painting on him without attachments and, and everything else getting in the way. So I'm going to go through his various bits and bobs. He's got hair. Take that off. Um, he's got um, eyebrows. We'll leave the eyebrows on. Okay, I'm going to leave that on. I'll leave the facial stuff on. I'm going to take the tie off his neck. I'm going to take the cuffs off his arms. This is kind of important as well. I'm going to make his clothing um, naked as well. So, no top. And I'm sorry, but he's got no pants on either. And also, no shoes. So, he's now naked and ready to be painted. So the next thing I'd like to show you is all this custom textures business happens in the decals tab. We've got this texture field right here which so far we've ignored, custom texture, and it's into this slot that you're going to put your new painting and see it applied all over the character's body. Now, to do this, you have to look at this thing here, get custom template. What we've done is we've provided you with a bunch of templates that will make painting a texture that little bit easier. When you click this button, what happens is it launches a web browser, which is way too big. Let's go here. It launches a web browser and it takes you to this page uh, right here. And what you'll find on this page is little links to all of our characters in MovieZoo. And when you click these links, something called a template or a UV map will be downloaded. Now in this case, I've downloaded one to my desktop, which I'll show you right now. I've got this file right here called MovieZoo UV Fat Man. Now UV is a bit of jargon which I'll explain in a minute. But the next stage in the process is to use this template, is to take it into a painting program and use this template to help us paint textures. Now when it comes to choosing a painting program, there are thousands out there. There's ones that you have to pay for, like Photoshop and Corel and um, Art Rage and all the alias stuff as well. So if you've got money, buy one of those. If you don't have money, then don't worry, there are loads of cheap or free alternative things like the GIMP, Paint.net, uh, plus this rather cool one which I found not long ago called Splash Up. Now Splash Up is a painting program which runs inside your web browser, so you can pretty much use it wherever you like. Um, it means that you can paint textures even when you're not at your computer. Maybe you're in work or, you know, blah, 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 sitting in an airport or whatever you're doing, you can use Splash Up to paint your textures. And what we want to do is click on the jump right in button right here. Okay, this is going to load up a little painting window. Once it's loaded, I'll resize it so that we're capturing the whole, the whole thing right here. Let me move these um, windows out of the way. Now, if you've used painting programs before, this looks very much like they all do. You've got tools down one side, a colour palette, and a box to control layers. We're probably going to use all of these things. Anyway, the first order of business is to open up the file that I downloaded to my desktop. desktop. Let's click this Browse button. Go to Desktop. And movies a UV fat man. Let's open that one right there. 
Okay, the first thing to say about the image that opens, if you've downloaded it straight from our website, is that it is huge. And I've given you um, enormous big files so that you can get right in and paint details if you like. But it's too big for our needs. So the first thing I'm going to do is change its size down a little bit. I'm going to change its image size down to say, what will we go for? 800 by 800. These measurements are in pixels. Hit OK. Right, now you may just have lost the detail in the video capture here, but I can still see a kind of wireframe. And what we're looking at here is, in fact, you know what, I'll undo that because I want to explain something about what we're looking at right here. Let me just move this so I can see your scroll bars. In this image, in this kind of wireframe image that we've got going on here, it's the character's 3D mesh and it's been sliced and pulled apart and unfolded as if it's now flat and it looks very much like a dressmaker's pattern you can see the character's head is right here you can make out its mouth and where its eyes would plug in next to that we've got the character's legs um, his feet over here, his hands um, throat, lips, teeth, his body where his arms are, this is his neck bit right here and I've attempted whatever possible uh, to label these parts because some of the other characters like the robots for example it, it can get quite confusing anyway this is the template that we're going to work with okay now I've spoken about it now I want to resize it and as before I'm going to take it down to 800 by 800 okay and I'll zoom back into 100% okay that's the image at the size that we want Next thing I'm going to do is take your attention to this layers palette. Now when you're doing digital painting, um, quite often the application will present you with something like layers. Now this is one of the boons of digital painting. You can actually paint on all sorts of different layers and it's as if you're painting through clear plastic. So the image that we've opened right now, um, which is this template layer, it's on a layer called Untitled 1. I quite like keeping things labelled and neat, so I'm going to call that layer template. I'm going to create a new layer by hitting this plus button. And I'm going to call the new layer color. And that means that we can put all of our painting on one layer and we'll never destroy the mesh, the template that's underneath. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to take the color one and I'm going to move it down underneath the template layer. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pick a nice bright red color. I'm going to pick the paintbrush, which is that one right here. And change the size up a little bit. Whoa, that's too big. Edit undo. Okay. So I'm going to give our fat man just a red eye. Okay. Now, what I want to say at this stage is that see the checkerboard thing that you can see? This is a fairly common device used to denote transparency. So the only thing, the only sort of information on this graphic is the big red blotch that we've painted and anything that you can find on the template layer. So all these little black lines and words um, is all information on the painting but the checkerboard stuff is see-through and if I turn off the template layer you can see that this image saved in the correct format will only contain a red dot and everything else will be see-through. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this image off and apply it to our fat man. So what I want to do first of all on the template layer I want to turn that opacity all the way down to zero. The color one I can leave alone. I'm going to go to File, Save Image. I'm going to hit Save right here. Now this is important. Um, you need to pick the PNG format. It recognizes the checkerboard transparency. And I want to save that. And I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it red dot save. Okay, let's head over to MovieZoo and use this image. Over in MovieZoo we've still got our naked fat man and into custom texture I'm going to import from my desktop that red dot file. There it's right there. Now sometimes the Splash Up website won't put an extension on here. See this dot PNG? Sometimes you have to go in and manually add that, but that's just a little glitch that I've found. Anyway, red dot, let's open it up. 
And now you can see what's happened. The red dot that we painted over the character's uh, right eye has now appeared. The part of the image, the checkerboard part of the image, which is see-through, does not affect the character at all. So in that way, you can go back to the body and you can change the character's skin to be whatever you like and your apply texture won't affect it. So I think it's probably useful if we go back, let's delete this guy again and create the girl character and put on that texture again. Import. This time it's not on my desktop, it's down this one. Mm, move it out. Okay. So let me just open up this image and you can see what I painted and splash up. Let's go back here, close that one. Okay. And we'll open up from all the way down here to this one. And I'll zoom out slightly so you can see what's going on. Here you can see the yellow file that applied to that girl character. You can see that the the big areas of transparency is where I wanted the skin colour to show through. So this was her head up in this area, her hands, her hands are down here as well, at her cuffs. And also this area here is her lips and this hole right here is the inside of her mouth. And all that stuff would be apparent if you downloaded the, the UV map, the template, sorry, from our uh, texture page on our website.